right, let me quickly show you how to create your first autoresponder series using the new Aweber campaigns window, campaigns subsection or menu item or whatever you want to call it. Okay, uh, go to your messages and click on the campaigns uh, menu item here. And now you will be coming here. And um, so you create a campaign, click on that, give it, your, give it a name, my first autoresponder series. Enter doesn't work. It doesn't work. It works. Okay. Uh, welcome to the campaign editor. This is our campaign. It's empty right now. And these are two triggers that we have available for this campaign. What, what this means is basically that uh, when do you want this campaign or this autoresponder series to uh, come alive, to start working? Do you want it to start when someone subscribed to the list? Or do you want it to start when you apply a tag? And for the purposes of our little uh, workshop here, uh, we don't uh, we don't want to deal with tags right now. That's a bit more advanced. What we want to do is create our first order of one the series. So we will be using uh, this on subscribe. So when we click on on subscribe, what what, ha what will happen is that whenever someone subscribes uh, to the list, uh, this campaign will be triggered. And what will happen when this campaign will be triggered? Nothing so far, as you can see here, that uh, nothing is happening. It, the campaign is just being triggered, but there's nothing in the campaign. We have three possible actions here that we can take. Again, the applying tag part, we're not dealing with it for the moment. So we just do first send a message. This will be our first message. Then we have an, add a bit of a wait time. And then we send the second message. And then we add another wait time. Then we Let's send another message. Now we have right now three messages in our uh, autoresponder series in this campaign. Now the first message we haven't, uh, you know, really created it, so we uh, create it, or we can choose it. Now we already have a message, so I say choose. I have to welcome to my email list message already composed, and then I select it. Now. Uh, a little uh, note on the welcome email. Uh, two things must be done in your welcome email. Uh, thing number one is that uh, you must remind the person who has joined your email list why they joined. And um, because people get a lot of emails and you need to make sure that they associate your email and your name and your whole brand and everything with, with the why. Why is very important here. So why did they join? Maybe they joined for the opt-in and now they're getting your articles in the email. Or whatever the reason, uh, you must try to remind them of that. And second, and this is more important for me at least, is to, is to ask them to tell you what they're struggling with. I do this as well and this has really helped me get a pulse on what my audience is struggling with. So it's, it's, it's a very good way of identifying the pain point and identifying your next possible uh, product to be put out there on the internet. So yeah, this 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 can be your first email and then, uh, then you wait. And over here, as you can see on the right side, Aweber offers a lot of options. It is very granular and very detailed uh, when it uh, comes to uh, especially this wait time with intervals here. Uh, you, you can uh, tell it to wait two days, one day, whatever, you know, uh, one day, one month, one minute even. And uh, you can also specify a certain window where you want the next action to be performed. For example, I'd like my emails to go out between 9 a.m. and noon on a Monday. Really, that's how I've set up my uh, autoresponder series. You can do the same. You can specify whatever time you feel is right for you. Maybe you have backed it up with data, maybe you are doing it, you know, really ringing it and you're saying it because you feel that this is the right time to be sending out uh, emails to your audience. So whatever the case may be, uh, over here, as you can see, you can uh, specify the messages here. The send message here, you don't have a message, so you just create one. And um, like that, you create your first autoresponder series. Um, Again, this is just to uh, make you comfortable in taking action in your Aweber account. So log in, get to this uh, window and start creating your first autoresponder series, your first campaign. And with that, I wish you nothing but the best. God bless. Just have a